Emmanuel Angaro, fresh for him. Got it at Burlington for like $8. I was curious, really curious about other fragrances by Emmanuel Angaro because I had previously got Emmanuel Angaro for her and I really wanted to smell the for him, although they didn't have that. Um, I really like this, by the way. This is pretty long-lasting, and this smells really good, and I've gotten compliments on this, and I love the decorations on the... It's just a sticker, but I love the uh, decorations on the bottle. I've heard some people complain, but um, I love it. It's very city. Um, so, yeah, I love that. But back to this one. So they didn't have the Emmanuel Angaro for him, but I did see the fresh for him, and I really like this. It's an aromatic woody fragrance, and it's got a lot of citrus and ginger. Um, of course, being a fresher one with those citruses, it doesn't last as long. However, it does have some nice grounding base notes that do linger. Um, I like the smell of this guy. I actually think this is definitely masculine leaning for sure. But I also think it can be unisex uh, because I love it. Of course, I just love men's fragrances, but I really love ginger. And, um, you know, I love I love the citrus and ginger. So people hear citrus and they think it's got to be summertime or spring or at the gym, like freshy. But this has some, you know, it's grounded and we'll go over the notes in a second. Um, I actually think this would smell great in the summer, especially on the beach at night. Or um, I think this, even in cold weather, people typically don't think of that in cold weather. I like, like you could be out in the nice crisp cold snow skiing and then go in the lodge. And, and if I smelled this on a man, this aromatic woody with that citrus and ginger, I would really like it. Now, it's not ultra long lasting, but it's like eight bucks. Like throw it, just keep spraying it and like freshening up with it. And of course it'll still linger, I'm sure, like on clothes and maybe like on the back of your neck or or wherever somebody's going to be up close and enjoying smelling you. I think it's a nice, it's a nice fresh fragrance, especially for like $8. So back to the, um, like the decorations, the, the cats. If you look at the website, uh, this is like the artwork of a, I think it's in the a French a city in France, one of the graffiti artists and the graffiti artist um, does the graffiti art of all the like city alley cats or whatever city cats in in France I believe so I think that's cool um of course it's in these tones for a fresh scent you know the blues and metallic and for the regular for her you've got all these cool pinks and blues or whatever colors but I would spray this on myself even though it, it does it's for him oops people are messaging me um, just because I, I really like it. Um, and I would like to smell it on a man, too. Oops, my daughter's messaging me. I'm just going to keep recording. <laughs> so I'll get back to her as soon as I'm done this. So, yeah. Also, if you look at the website, you know, I think any age obviously could wear this with these notes. But if you look at the website, it's got like some, you know, city young adults and they're good looking and fashionable and they're just very city vibes and, um, kind of, you know, like sexy, attractive, sexy, cute, fun, fashionable, whatever, that kind of thing. Yeah, for eight bucks, y'all pick this up and tell me what you think too when you try it. So let's go over to Fragrantica real quick. So here on Fragrantica, it says Emmanuel Angaro, fresh for him, woody, aromatic. So keep in mind, you know, like I said, people think citrusy, just just summer or just gym. This isn't just citrus. It's a woody, aromatic fragrance and um, from 2020. And it's got grapefruit, ginger, and bergamot, and geranium, and violet leaves, and mimosa, and base notes are vetiver, oak moss, and patchouli. So, of course, these are going to linger. Like I said, it, it's got some grounding to it. And uh, I do really like it. And people say that it, if you read the notes, uh, some guys said, yeah, they've got some compliments or whatever. It's it's not like anything groundbreaking or anything, but it doesn't have to be groundbreaking to smell sexy. Um, it could be crowd-pleasing, which is can be a really good thing, right? So, hold on. 
So this is what uh, people compare it to, the tear de Hermes uh, for men, right? So very similar, people say. And so this is aromatic, citrus, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy, woody, earthy, herbal, rose, ozonic, and green. Yeah, I really, I do like it. I really enjoy it. It's definitely worth picking up for $8. It's got some sexy vibes to it. You might have to end up reapplying it, but like I said, it does have some, some longer lasting base notes, but that ginger is sexy. The violet leaves, mimosa. I mean, it's, it's a sexy little, uh, fresh fragrance definitely for him but i feel like it can be unisex also i don't want to keep repeating anything can be unisex but um i think you all know what i mean so yeah there you go